Tier lists seem to be a flash fad at least once every single month. And it's such an attractive social point because nobody likes other people having a differing opinion and they are super vocal about it. Yeah, your favorite ex does not equal my favorite ex. Uh, excuse me, you think that Z is better than Y? What is wrong with you? You have a big bad brain. It's great. Amazing for interaction on social media, informs community when the tier list is actually informative, and it ends friendships that are pretty weak if friendships can be ruined by a basic opinion. That being said, this video is purely based on opinion and the skins that I already owned while unlocking these colors. OP Charged OG Skins! You see how I said the title of the video? In the video? Isn't that kind of neat? Okay, now for some reason this was way harder to compile than I thought it would be. My first sweep of all the skins I have rendered me a list of 16 different characters and I want to say uh, 20 different skins because all of Ada's skins and two of Taro's skins were all like neck and neck. Now all of these skins filed into the top 16, top 20 if you count all the different uh, Ada and Taro skins just because they looked so gosh darn cool in their own different ways. They had different uh, primary, different tertiary. Di they had different primary, secondary, tertiary values, right? So the Charged OG has like its color palette and some primarily had like color three, some primarily had color two, some primarily had color four, you know what I mean? But I, I just, just without judging based on that, I just took what was coolest looking and jumped down 33% to 10 legends and skins now after that 33 percent call my top 10 were very hard to sort through now you saw the names of the top 16 i didn't give you reasoning exactly why each one got chopped but from top 10 to top 5 i'm going to give you some reasons mirage was being carried by her animated flames ragnar was all around badass but just wasn't quite hot enough and center guard bryn fell to the very same fate azoth dropped and this is an odd reasoning just because his lucky colors look 10 times better on this skin roland and core lost purely for the same reasoning they got so far two basic colors lots of contrast and simple now that got them far but ultimately lost them the top five spot and boom bada bing the top five skins in my collection based on my own opinion now before you go into the comment section and i don't like your tier list your opinions suck just just don't because this is opinion based and it might get you banned from the comment section or it's completely ignored now what you can tell me in the comment section is tell me your favorite skin and color combination because that would be a positive additive to the overall discussion and it might even earn your comment a, 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 little, a little little heart a little Little heart. Okay, that was a lot of talking. Time for gameplay. We're gonna start with Kai here, an experimental match. I don't think I'm gonna show the entire match. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut, uh, cut some out, cut some, uh, cut around knockouts and everything. But cut highlights, the knockouts and some talking points that might pop up. But otherwise, I'm just trying, I'm just kind of trying to kick some butt because I got my butt kicked to the tournament. I got my butt kicked when I was playing Azoth. So. Hopefully, uh, hopefully do a little bit better today and don't get our butts kicked. It seems like it might be easy, uh, especially if our Jesus uh, program doesn't run correctly here and gets uh, knocked out for AF Kang. All right, now he knows how to sidelight. That's nice. <gasps> what? I I didn't input to the right. Are you? What? Huh? You baited, it, baby! Touch the edge before you die. Or to prevent yourself from dying. Hold the reed! No, I couldn't follow up with the thing I thought I could. Held that for too long. Avoid the side sig. Down sig over edge. Down sig as he approaches the down light. Ha 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 ha. Who's the pirate now? The Eskimo lady! Am I allowed to say Eskimo? Is my face cam way too big? I think it is. Whoops. Normally I have it on the other side. And a lot smaller. 
So if you guys have missed any gameplay, well, you know what, dude? Suck it. At least it's not close camera anymore. Comment section, uh, honestly, as I was recording yesterday's video with that close cam, I realized that half the time I liked it being up close like that, and half the times I, I didn't. It was a little bit weird. And I thought to myself, at some point, this is going to make at least like two people motion sick. And sure enough, there was a couple people in the comment section that said, this, what the, f what was that lag? This makes me seasick. This is weird. I don't like this. So I, I don't think I'll use it again. I'm not going to make a video on it. Um, my initial thought in the first few matches, apart from the, oh, this might make people a little seasick or motion sick, is that it kind of zooms in so close that you kind of forget there's a lot of stage around. And you, you're just like narrowly focused on attacking your opponent, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. I think it's definitely a propellant towards more aggressive gameplay, but it's also going to get you punished way harder if you're constantly approaching, which is an issue I have in my gameplay a lot. And also, thanks for hitting me while I was taunting, bud. You took the L. I want to get up and dance, but my back's kind of messed up. I've got another issue that I don't want to exacerbate. So imagine I'm doing that hold the L dance from Fortnite. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this broadcast to tell you that Defensive has bought an ad inside of his own video. Defensive's Twitter game is pretty weak, and part of that is because of limited interaction. If you haven't followed Defensive on Twitter, go on over there and do the thing. That's about it. I didn't script this. This is awkward. Follow me on Twitter. Bye. <laughs> You guys can't see the in-game chat. All right, no, no, no. We can't be. We can't be on the right side of the screen. We're gonna be on the left side of the screen. This is where we are. This is where we are from now on. A little bit smaller. It, right here. So, like I said earlier, I liked all of Ada's skins and the charge color, and I think it's because they each take a different subset of the colors and use them more as a primary or secondary or tertiary. I, she's like half naked. It's not my fault. I like this one the most. And then this one is just super cool. It's like a cow. Moo. Oh, Double Dime's gonna show me his Lin Fei. Why are we on this map? Why does this map exist? Oh, gosh. I can't really remember if this map is better for his character or my character. I got him. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I can do some crazy combos with sword and... Not sword. Spear and uh, guns here. I don't really remember how much cannon benefits. If you guys don't know, Double Dime is a uh, professional esports Brahala player from Tuxedo Esports. And he got uh, essentially three times better placement than I did in the uh, in the Mountain Dew Game Fuel tournament. I think he got like 33rd? I think he got 33rd? Yeet! I didn't have my dodge because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Boom. Damn, he knew I was doing that. Smart brain. Large, good brain on this double diamond. Dead? <sighs> you know what? I bet his Lin Fei doesn't have two attack like my Lin Fei did during the tournament. That was a little bit of an oversight. As I was going through my weapon or my, my characters uh, and looking at all the different uh, color combinations, I changed Lin Fei to have her attack back. And uh, I don't remember, maybe I gave her more attack? I think I took her off the the stance that gave her less attack and put her on the strength stance. I keep on saying attack, I mean strength. I think I took down her dexterity or something, because I don't care about the frame data of, of one dexterity buffed cannon. I don't know what's true and what's not based on that. It's not like I'm gonna try to hit him anyway. Most of the combos and strings I do are on accident. He's trying to hit me with that backflip dragon. On it. Oh, shoot. Ah! Unacceptable. <gasps> imagine. Imagine I hit the recovery there, dude. That was slick. That was sick. That was well played. Slick, sick, well played. <laughs> this 
is my redemption round with Azoth. I took the beating in yesterday's video. It will not happen again. Focus. Lots of axe hits. Let's go. Redemption round, baby. I'm only in yellow, Zol. How you feeling, big girl? Big, big girl. Big, big G. Oh, you know what? I think I... I think a Tori should be in this spot. I was gonna cut to me winning and then switch over to Hattori, but this guy just cannoned me to Narnia. He almost went into it, what do you mean? Got him! Whew, that was a tight match. Well played. It's a French name. I just realized how much spear I have in this top five. I think I might be a little bit biased towards spear characters because I like playing spear so much. But then again, it ultimately might be the fact that I just own more skins for spear characters. So I have a more diverse skin set to, to enjoy the color combinations of, you know what I mean? Like there's a higher chance I'm gonna like a spear character in the new color swap if I have more spear character skins to choose from, something like that. I really despise playing against good, patient, uh, Full range Lance players. They're just too good for my bad brain. Whew. What was I saying about Lance? Just just parry it harder than they parry you. Why can't I downlight Saron Sword, dude? Come on, brother! I was over that bomb by a pixel. Oh my god. No! <laughs> oh, he jumped and dodged away from down again. Perfect timing. Well played, dude. Couldn't escape the ground pound, though. This downward propeller of doom is just coming for your dome. Unarm combos. Let's go. I hit that at the beginning of a lot of matches and people leave. No! Stupid overlay. Whoa! Oh, the temper at max range! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, that leaves us with Baraza and Vrax left to go. And ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy, does it look good? I stopped talking for a second because my brain farted. Uh, this just looks really good. I think it's one of the only skins that looks good with the green being that... 100% lime green. If you look over at, like, I think it's Terminator or Eliminator Nyx. Eliminator Nyx. It's all lime green. It's just too much. It's just too much. This, it's like, it's, it's like transparent and like just cool as sh. Oh, a velocity member. Ooh, this will be interesting. And a blaster mirror, dude. A little bit of more cannon, a little more taste of cannon, like I just saw from that Zol earlier. Okay. Okay, okay. That was a little sip. Do you not get a sip on Gravity Cancel? <gasps> I forgot to tell everybody forever and everywhere that you can't double Gravity Cancel a taunt. And it hurts my heart. It'd be very cool if you could. BMG, please. Um, but what was I saying? I, I play a lot of Axe and Spear, don't I? Maybe I should start playing that Axe and Spear legend. What's their name? Wushang? No. No. Who was it? Isaiah? No. Isaiah is this guy. Roland? No. Bryn, that's the one. That's the one. Uh, Cinderguard Bryn, right. She looks really cool in the new colors, too. Just not top tier. I might start maining Bryn. I might start maining Bryn just because Axe is in a, in a fun spot right now. Not a good spot, a fun spot. And if the experimental features go through with it, man, ooh, that'd be dirty. I think uh, I think for now, Bryn is literally going to be my, my try-hard, want-to-win experimental main. For ranked, I don't care. For experimental, when I'm sweating and using the new features, it's all about that Brin, baby. It's all about that Brin. I'm really disappointed that the, the, the meta devs don't look better in the uh, in the Charged OG colors. I think Embers looks the best out of all of them, but Bodvar, Orion, and Brin's meta devs are kind of bleh, you know? Kind of bleh. That is Guardian Bodvar, though. That looks hot. That looks hot. That $100 skin, dude, that's a good one. That's a good one. I want this three stock. Give it to me. 
That's one more stock towards it. Two damage for the for the business, dude. Can't get me with oh talk. Smack, get smacked. Alrighty then. I didn't hydrate my eyes, I guess. I uh, did it during the tournament. Didn't do it right now. Eyes a little dry. Nice, sir. Nice neutral stick. That's quick, dude. That's quick. One of my favorite gravity cancel, double gravity cancels, or uh, double gravity, or uh, gravity. Oh, motor mouth diff. Shut, shut up. Do the thing. Just talk regular, idiot. Gravity cancel uh, neutral light on blasters into Isaiah's neutral sig. It's clean. It is clean. Oh, let's try to get a double gravity cancel staggered off the wall. Come on, play with me down here. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to stagger it. Oh, I'm going to die first, actually. Fishing for a move with Anglerfish Barraza. Anglerfish? What is he? It's an anglerfish, right? One that has the light on its head. Baits people into thinking it's a cute little glowy fish, but it's not. Dead with the side there. Let's go. Time for Princess, not Princess. Vrax. Oh, we got him again. I wonder if he's going to fight us. Because he just rage quit after losing. We'll see. Uh, the reason I picked Dark Matter Vrax uh, as as like a, a two-toned version of this, uh, this color scheme is because it kind of like really cool how it glows. Molten Quartz is the same thing, but it's I don't think it's as cool as uh, Dark Matter Vrax. It's just, this just like, it just looks so dope, you know? Plus I suck with gauntlets, so. <laughs> it might, uh, that might have played another uh, small factor into the whole uh, the picking process. Oh, that spot dodge patience into the side air, that's top tier. And for whatever reason, whenever I hit that down sig on Vrax, I go for a uh, directional input. As if that's ever been a thing. <gasps> I couldn't spank him with the down sig. No! No, I spot dodged right on it. Got over the platform. Good for him. I'd quit. I'd quit. If he quit after losing the last match, he should have quit after that recovery hitting. That was bull that was malarkey. That was baloney. That was all kinds of things that are not things. What is malarkey? It just means BS, right? It's like a PG BS. I wonder. Nice there. Okay, buddy, your scythe's alright. You want to play serious, dude? I'll play some seriousness. Oh, the down sig battle! I come out on top, I got the better range. What? What? My movement there, I think I just hit all of my arrow keys. And dodge. And it just, I, my brain was like, what would that about to do? <laughs> He's got his lance again. He did huge damage. Not lance. I've got my lance. He's got his scythe. He did huge damage with his scythe last time. We don't want him to have that at all. And I think I do a little bit better against him with my my lance. So let's uh, let's cycle that so we get another one of these. Next pickup. Just space him and do some damage. I'm getting sweaty on this one. Because he got sweaty on this one. It's reciprocal sweat. It happens. Should neutral sig there. I'm alive. He's dead. Oh, the recovery paid with the KO. Woo, that was nice. That mid-roll Twitter thing that you watched a little earlier, I just recorded that. It was awful. It was really cringy. I am so sorry. You don't have to like, comment, or subscribe. I'd appreciate if you did, but because of the Twitter thing, I'm not going to hold you responsible at all for those. However, you should watch another video. There's going to be a thumbnail, 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 pre-roll right here. Post-roll, post-roll. Post-roll sounds delicious. Covered in butter and cinnamon. <sighs> Ooh, I want a post-roll.